Well, let's let's talk a little bit about a casino. Uh, I think it's kind of a, a dead issue at this point, um, but I, it's still it's a question I think that's worth asking just to see what everybody thinks. Is a casino right for this area? I'm not a big proponent of gambling. Uh, I personally get too nervous to gamble, even when I play the fundraising casinos where you have to play money. I don't do it because it makes me nervous, I, so I don't like gambling. And I don't like the fact that gambling is really regressive. It, it hits the poor more. I know it only hits them poor, the poor more because they may be spending their money on gambling when they ought to do something else. But the fact that we know that happens, we can't just close our eyes to it. And so I think for me, um, it would require there to be um, a, a groundswell of support within a community uh, where the vast majority of the people really do want it. Then I think we should immediately begin funding programs to assist people in kicking the gambling habit or ways that we can anticipate catching them early enough because there are evils that are associated with it and we ought to know that and since we know that we ought to be prepared the best we can to help uh, soften those evils. Uh, so basically I think local rule um, should decide whether they want a casino um, and then if there's an adequate um, amount of people then it would be brought to the General Assembly for approval. And so I think I'm indicating I would be very reluctant to pass a law expanding the casinos in Indiana, but I wouldn't be deaf to my uh, constituents. If, if, if my constituents really, by a good majority, want it, well, I'm their, I'm their servant. Uh, I, I, I want you to know I believe that legislators are actually meant to be leaders not just followers. So it's not my job as a legislator to just take a poll of my uh, district and whatever the majority says, that's what we do. Uh, as a legislator, I should have specialized knowledge. I should have access to information uh, that would allow me to uh, try to lead my community in what I believe is the right way to go. Uh, so if I felt there was a groundswell of uh, movement to one casino in Allen County. Uh, what I would do is I would call some basically town hall meetings in, in maybe uh, neighborhood meetings at churches or something and have a chance to talk. And in that, I would try to put out what the negatives are, what the drawback would be, but we would also discuss the positives. And through that process, if I felt it wasn't right, I would try to lead my people uh, lead the people to understand that this isn't what's best for you. This isn't going to work. Here's what's going to happen. But if through that process, uh, the collective minds of my district would say, uh, no, we want one, uh, then depending on how overwhelming that is, uh, I may vote for it. You know, it, because again, I'm not the one that knows all. Uh, yeah, but if I, if I have knowledge that I think the people ought to hear, I will exercise that. I will, my obligation to communicate with them, my obligation to lead them in the way I think is best. Um, but if having said all of that and they collectively say to me, no, we, we want it, in the end of, of it all, I'm their servant. Not, not, uh, I'm not there for my own good. So, Are you concerned about the, the state's dependence on the revenue from gaming? Yes, I am, and unfortunately, for those people who don't want taxes, uh, um, and, and this will tell you how they feel about that, because when we did the lottery, all the things it was going to make sure of, and then somewhere down the line, both parties agreed to somehow start using that lottery money for other things. And, and so basically, it, it got to be just money that the government spends. And so I understand the, uh, maybe the Tea Partiers or, or Libertarians who say, you know, less government, no government. And, and I think that the least government possible is good. And if you just give the government some more money, programs grow up to fill that. So I think there's a, a lot to be said for smallest government possible. But where I, do, I disagree with some of those is I think the government can do good in some of the areas it's in that it's not doing very good at now. 
if they were just held accountable and if we made sure they that the government functioned in a in a healthy way so holding us accountable by being able to see what we're doing how we're doing it will make the make the government work better and i think gambling money is just more money for us to spend and waste now if we if we cut off other sources of revenue and yet still value the services we've got to get the money somewhere and uh yeah, I just think that there's there's more negatives than there are positives to gambling money.